Hi, this is Nico from Qtools, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own Michelson interferometer on top of the quantum coffer. And um, I've already done that. I've built it up, um, and I aligned everything such that we can couple the single photons coming out from here um, back into the detector here. And uh, just let me show you the beam path for a minute. So they come out on this side, uh, hit two mirrors, just so they can uh, be transformed onto this um, beam splitter over here which is the first part of the Michelson interferometer. And from here, um, they can either go this way, this path, or this path. And in both paths, we have uh, one glass wedge that can tune the optical path length of this path. And we have a mirror that just reflects the photon back. And then both possibilities are recombined at this beam splitter. And here in the output port, we put another mirror just so the photons can uh, be registered down in the bottom of the quantum coffer in the detector, in the single photon detector we have there. Um, so again, what we want to do now is we want to change the optical path length in one of the interferometer arms, such that we uh, arrive at the point where both arms are of exactly the same length, because our photons are very short. We see interference only in a very short, uh, uh, in a very short distance difference between those two arms. So um, I'm going to select this uh, glass wedge and uh, I'm going to just let it drive automatically over this point that I previously uh, set up here. So as you can see now it interferes nicely just in a very short period of uh, distance difference between these two arms and then it won't interfere again. And then I can also go backwards again, just so you can see it once more, that here we actually have single photon interference.